I mean, I'm no, like, horror movie fan, so, like, correct me in the comments, but where do you get a um, hockey mask in the middle of summer in a lake? Yeah, in a campfire. It's ironic that the strongest item in the game is a stick that's on fire. The counselors are all identical sprites. They just pulled a Mortal Kombat on us and just reskinned everything. All the counselors except for Chrissy and Matt are pretty much useless. Two out of the three male counselors are the wrong skin color. I just want to know, why are there so many rocks on the road? You'd think that Jason would throw some too. Oh, this game, setting the stage for all of those horror zombie DLCs. I don't know about you, but it feels like there's another horror character in this story with all the creepy Knife and key hunting, what is this, CSGO? First of all, vitamins don't work like that, and second of all, that looks like piss in a jar. Fire damaging, Jason. I guess you was completely wrong about water being the most effective way to destroy Jason. Doggo doesn't attack. This um, stick left on fire that someone carelessly left on a flammable ca carpet will be the bane of all zombies to come. My theory is that Jason is actually a Pokemon who's a water type because rocks are super effective against him. Also worth mentioning that Jason only goes to cabins that don't have their fireplaces lit, where it should be the other way around because unlit fireplaces should mean typically that no one's there. Castlevania background. Damn it, Debbie, why is Jason always attacking you, you freaking idiot? Mike Tyson boss fight plus Mega Man health plus Legend of Zelda items equals this game. You know, this zombie Mario paratrooper just makes no sense at all. The only enemy that makes sense in this game, the Raven. What kind of parents would send their kids knowingly to a place that has a serial killer in it and has zombies roaming around 24-7? That just makes no sense. Oh, Paul, you're basically the Steve Urkel of this game. Also, why are they all throw underhand? I mean, wouldn't it do more damage to throw like a baseball pitch? Unavoidable Jason attack is unavoidable. Also, isn't water supposed to be his weakness or something? Why is he swimming in it? Well, I mean, yeah, he's not dead, but he looks like he has some severe crippling depression, though. You know, it says we beat Jason, but he looks the same way as before. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, he's not really dead. Obviously, and they're gonna be douchebags and not tell us. They forgot to put a D before the end. Fatality.